been 30 minutes already. What if he doesn't come back? He went with our Chipsa, so he will be back. <coughs> You're super clingy. Me? Clingy? Three behaviors of cats who cling onto their owner. When they always want to be with their owner. I'll tell you why I said you're clingy. Number one, they keep on crying. When cats cannot Cheap find daddies. their owner, they may cry like they are looking for her. Generally, adult cats do not communicate with each other using crying sounds. Oh my god! <sighs> this is why I say you're clingy. But I want to be with my Chipsa! Therefore, when house cats are crying, mm. it is most likely that they are calling for their owner. Chipsa will be back soon. Huh? Still quite a bit left. Gosh, stop. Number two, they keep on following around. Don't you follow Chipsa around all day long? Yeah. Oh, gotta use the toilet. Cats who don't want to be apart from their owner will keep on following her around. Oh, huh? It may seem like baby kittens following their mom cats around. Cats who are not psychologically independent from their mom cats or are extremely childish tend to behave in such a way. I've never done that. Huh? Number three, they keep on interrupting. Um, clingy? When the owner is working on the computer, reading a book, or doing something else, Cats will sometimes interrupt the owner yeah. on purpose. They will sit on top of the keyboard or walk over the book pages to express themselves. Oh. These are behaviors no. that cats show when they oh, want to no. grab the owner's attention. So it is good to play with them for 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> However, oh, no. if cats display oh, no. such behavior too often, it could mean that mm. they are overly dependent on their owner. You, you, you were a baby. Cats who are too dependent on their owner will have Attention. difficulty spending time alone and uh -huh. can experience separation anxiety. How to prevent separation anxiety. Number one, practice playing alone. What do you think? This is a brand new mouse toy. It is good to prepare toys that cats can <gasps> easily play with by themselves, such as balls uh -huh. or motion dolls so that they can get in a habit of playing on their own. If your cat stops looking around for you and starts to play with toys on her own, you should compliment and reward her. Got it. <laughs> ah. Number two, practice going out. You may begin. Yes, sir. Concentrate. If your cat gets anxious whenever you are about to leave home, you should check what behavior of yours makes your cat nervous. But I don't want to be away from Chipsa. Hmm. Huh? Yay! Now? For instance, if seeing you pack up your bag makes your cat anxious, then you should carry your bag around at home. I'm here! Even if you're not leaving, so that your cat can get used to the situation. <laughs> this is fun, huh? If your cat no longer seems anxious, you should then practice going oh outside for a little while and returning back home. I'm here! So. Uh -uh. When doing so, you should observe your cat's anxiety level and slowly increase the amount of time you spend outside. We're, We're back. back! Once you return home, you should spend oh. ample time with your cat. You must have been fine. <laughs> Let's have some snack. 